Huh? An overseas business trip? Don't you dare tell me such a stupid lie. You're just a housewife. If you keep lying to me any longer, I'll divorce you. My husband doesn't believe my story at all. It seems to me that he doesn't give a damn about me anymore. He just wants a woman to be his housekeeper. What? What the hell is this? Some papers are on the table. When I returned home from a business trip, I found the petition for divorce there. If you don't want a divorce, come to my parents' house and get down on your knees. When I saw that message from my husband, I immediately went outside and got into my car. My name is Ariel. I'm a 35 years old jewelry artist. My custom jewelry has been selling well lately. The pieces I've created through meticulous work have spread through social networking sites over the years. Now, my annual sales have reached $400,000. It took me a long time to get to this point. Still, the joy of being able to do what I love is t something I wouldn't trade for anything. I am on the right track with my work. But in my personal life, I have a big problem. That is my husband, Chris. He didn't understand my work and even started making fun of me. I keep trying to explain my work to him, but he never believes me. If it continues like this, I may have reached my limit. I had come to the point where I was thinking those negative things. My husband Chris and I met 10 years ago. We met on a blind date set up by a mutual friend. We hit it off immediately and became attracted to each other. At the time, I was an employee of a large jewelry retailer. My husband is an office worker at a small business. He doesn't make much, but at least has a decent job and is working very hard. At the beginning, he was a gentleman and sweet to me. We had, we had a great relationship as a couple. One day he proposed to me and we got married. After we married, he said he wanted me to focus on stuff around the house if possible. So I quit my job. At the time, I also had a dream of becoming a jewelry artist and creating more of my own pieces. But due to its popularity, the jewelry store was very busy and short staffed. So I had no time to work on my own pieces, and I was feeling a bit impatient. It was a perfect opportunity for me to quit my job. I became a full time housewife. And devoted myself to making artwork in my free time during the day. At the time, my husband was very encouraging toward my work. Wow, the design and the precision are amazing for such a small piece. Thank you, hon. I'm glad to hear you say that. Ariel, you are a genius. I can't believe you can make something like this. My husband's praise made me very happy. I continued to work on my pieces. In the beginning, I sold a few items at online auctions. It was a great pleasure for me to be able to actually deliver my work to someone. This experience strengthened my desire to become a jewelry artist. My parents and friends supported my dream and gave me a lot of advice. One of my friends told my story to his friends who runs a business, and he told me how to sell my products and how to do business. They even reached popular jewelry artists for me to learn something new. They all helped me to achieve my dream. Thanks to them, I was able to set up my own website to sell my products. I also started posting on social networking sites. And the number of followers quickly grew. In a few years, 
I succeeded in creating a platform for spreading my work around the world. All I had to do was create more and more works and sell them steadily. I continued to work hard. I created new pieces, took pictures of them, and posted them on social networking sites. Then I would direct people to my online store to purchase my products. Day after day, the process repeats itself. As I continued the steady activity, sales gradually increased. I was earning at least $4,000 a month. When I told this to my husband, he was surprised and could not believe it. No kidding! Are you really earning that much? Yeah, I'm getting paid pretty well. Whoa, Ariel, it's amazing you can earn money like that. I can't imagine what it's like for me as a normal office worker. I thought it was a cute reaction and laughed a little because he was so surprised. At the time, I thought that I would like to see more of his cute reaction. I continue to create and promote more works. The number of designs now exceeded several hundred. I am also making pieces to order based on the customer's desired design. In any case, in any case, I make a piece after receiving an order. So even though I have a lot of designs, I don't have that much extra stock in my room. Therefore, I can secure a place to work, even if it is only in my room. I continue to work in this way, and my sales grew steadily. But one day, my husband started acting differently. He started to give me the cold shoulder. Hey, Ariel, are you still in this hobby? What? I mean, this is my job. What are you talking about? Just because you make a few extra bucks. You call it a job? What? You don't have to say it like that. I take pride in each and every piece I make. Nobody cares about the pride of a housewife like you. Why are you coming at me like that? You stay in your room day and day out. You're kind of creepy, you know? What? How can you... Besides, I take care of the house properly. I make your lunch every day, clean the house, and prepare dinner, don't I? Of course. You are a stay-at-home housewife. That's what you're supposed to do. No. I'm a stay-at-home businesswoman. Haha, huh? what the heck is that? But at the end of the day, it's just a way for a housewife to kill the time. It's better to take a class or something. That's how my husband dissed my work. While he goes out and work hard at the office, his wife is at home happily creating artwork. My husband felt that this situation was unfair and didn't like it. After that, he started to complain to me about everything. You have time to make such things. You should be more particular about your cooking. Who in the world is going to buy those things? What's the fun of continuing this old-fashioned hobby? I mean, you don't have any talent, do ya? My husband repeated in sincere words continued to stress me out. So I started to keep in my room locked up while I worked on weekends. My husband didn't like that. So he started going out on weekends. We had been married for about seven years. We've been living like this for a long time now. I was hoping that we could be good partners again like we used to be. But he is behaving so badly that I am forced to defend myself. Then... A job offer came my way. It was from a friend of mine who lives overseas. The president of the jewelry company she works for was very pleased with my work. She wanted me to create some new pieces for her company 
and sell them exclusively to her top customers. Since it was a corporate commission, the reward was quite large. I knew I had to take this on, so I immediately responded with my acceptance. I was going to communicate with the president through a friend, but the president of the company asked me to meet her in person. She wanted me to create a work after getting good ideas for the company's culture. She also invited me on a vacation to visit Scandinavian town in Europe for a few days. I was even more excited. I never dreamed that I could go abroad for work, but the business trip was for two weeks. That means. I won't be able to do any housework during that time. My husband and I were not talking much, but I decided to tell him anyway about the job opportunity. But as I expected, his reaction was cold. What? An overseas business trip? Don't you dare tell me such a stupid lie. You were just a housewife. I'm not just a housewife. I'm also a businesswoman. The jewelry I'm making is being sold as products. It's a respectable job. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm tired of your delusions. Why don't you just concentrate on your housework? If you keep lying to me, I'll divorce you. Divorce? How can you say such a thing? It's because you are a lying piece of shit. My husband doesn't believe me at all. And don't you dare joke about being away from home for two weeks. Your job is to prepare food and bath for me and clean my room. He doesn't give a shit about me. He just wants a woman to be his housekeeper. If I kept listening to him. I would let him ruin my big opportunity, so I decided to leave him alone for the time being. I was going on a business trip, no matter what he said, so I hurriedly started packing. After a long flight, I arrived in Europe for the first time. The streets of Europe are picturesque in themselves, even the exterior of an ordinary house. Was a work of art. Jewelry stores lined the street. I analyzed the features of the jewelry in detail, actually touching and feeling the pieces. The meeting with the president went well. I I ate delicious local food and picked out souvenirs for my family and friends. And since I was commissioned by the company. I didn't have to pay for any of it. I thoroughly enjoyed my stay, thinking of all the hard work I had done so far. Ideas for new jewelry keep coming to my mind. I was looking forward to going back home and creating my work. The president of the company is a very trustworthy person with with high aspirations. I finished my business trip in a state of excitement. Grateful for the good encounters I had made. Meanwhile, I received many messages from my husband, but I decided to talk to him when I got back home and focused on my work. I never responded to him. When I returned home, he had a surprise for me. What is this? A few sheets of paper on the table. When I returned from a business trip, I found a petition for divorce there. My husband was very angry because I had not returned home for a long time, and he wanted to divorce me. I immediately called him on the phone. Where are you? What the heck with that divorce papers? And this is what he yelled at me. I don't need a useless piece of shit like you anymore. You are so absorbed in the stupid hobbies that you end up skipping chores and traveling overseas. You've got to be kidding me! 
who do you owe your luxurious life to? You should know better, Ariel. I felt my love for my husband suddenly disappear. How could he hurl such terrible words at me? Moreover, my husband said to me, "If you don't want a divorce, come to my parents' house and get down on your knees. Then I, then I maybe reconsider it." When I heard the words from my husband, I immediately got out and got into my car. I was so fed up with my husband. That I decided to file a petition for dissolution. I went home first and explained the situation to my parents, and I moved all my belongings to my parents' house with their help. I decided to go ahead with the work while living at home for the time being. In the meantime, my husband sent me text messages telling me to hurry up and apologize and not to be so stubborn. But I ignored them. Then, about a week after I left home, my husband started to call me on my phone all day. I decided it was time to pick up the phone. Ariel, what the hell is going on? Why is all your stuff gone? Of course, it's because I left. Are you kidding me? How long are you going to act like that? What are you talking about? Act like what? I'm already fed up with you, Chris. You're not going to understand my work forever. You're still talking about your hobbies. What an idiot! I mean, you've been delusional for years now. What? I don't care. Then go ahead and think I'm delusional. We're gonna be strangers anyway. Oh, thank you for the papers you left behind. I filed them with the court. What? What the? Did you file them? That was just a threat. Chris, you are such an asshole. But even if it was a threat, you actually prepared the papers. It proves that you did intend to divorce me. When when I said that, he started to lose his temper. Enough. Whatever. If you want, I'll divorce you. Ariel, you will regret this. You can't even make a little money on your own. Without me, you'll have to live a poor life from now on. I'm gonna live a great life here in this house by myself. I can use all the money I earn only for myself now that you are gone. Suit yourself. I told you, you and I are strangers now. I said that and quickly hung up the phone. After that, I spent my days at home, concentrating on my work. Thankfully. My mother mostly did the housework, so I can work even more than before. I never run out of good ideas because I don't have to be bothered by anyone. Then my husband called me again. What the hell do you want this time, Chris? Why is the rent so high? What are you talking about? You said you wanted to live there, but. How did you manage with this kind of rent? Now you realized, I was already making more money than you, so I was paying half the rent. Even living expenses like food and stuff came out of my income. My husband was speechless when I said that. Jesus, he really made that much money? You still don't believe me at all. You're helpless. Well, you should just go on living like that, living by your means. You can only understand the reality when the money starts running out. When I said that, he became very calm. I'm sorry, Ariel. I'm sorry. Please, come back. Let's start again. What? Are you kidding me? 
after giving me so much pain. There is no way we can start over now. Don't call me anymore. You are a stranger to me. And I don't see you anymore. If you come to my parents' house, I'll report you immediately. Don't say that, Ariel. Please. My husband sounded like he was about to disappear. I ignored him, hang up, and blocked the calls. After that, my Indos found out more about my ex husband. I heard that he was kicked out of the house in disgust. And when he couldn't pay the rent, he was evicted from there too. Moreover, he thought he could afford to be extravagant when he divorced me. He bought a car, an expensive brand name goods, and spent a lot of money. Of course, all of that is now debt. And he is living in a shabby apartment while trying to pay off. It took a while, but I managed to get a formal divorce from him. I continue to work as a jewelry artist. My overseas work has been very successful, and I am in talks for an exclusive contract. I am thankful to be able to spend every day doing what I love. I will continue to put my heart and soul into my work, who buy my jewelry. Thank you for watching to the end. Please subscribe to our channel if you like. See you in the next video.